So we learned how to combine our navigators together in React Navigation version 3 to create a solid navigation flow. What we have here on the top is an app switch navigator. Clicking on the login screen, we're taken to a draw navigator. So here we have the drawer on the left. In order to have a common header, we then created a stack navigator inside the draw navigator. And there's only one screen in that stack navigator, which is a tab navigator by itself. That tab navigator as of now just has three tabs. And as we change the tabs, we can notice that the header here changes. But like I had mentioned in my last video, there is one use case which I've not covered here. And that is, what if there's another screen that we want to navigate to from the feed screen? So let's try that out practically. Let's go to our feed tab. And here in our feed tab, let's get rid of this text here and let's pass in a button. Let's say go to detail screen. And here instead of this alert, we'll make it navigate to another screen. So we'll say this.props.navigation.navigate and let's say detail. Let's save that out. So we're getting our button here, but we haven't created this detail screen yet. We obviously need to add this detail screen somewhere. If we look at our dashboard tab navigator, we notice that as of now, this just has normal tabs in it. So instead of having tabs here, we'll have to swap this out for a stack navigator by itself. That should help us solve our problem. So let's say here, const feed stack is equal to create stack navigator. Here, let the first screen be feed. So we'll say screen feed and let the second screen be detail screen with the screen pointing to detail. And as we can see, we haven't created this detail screen. So here I'm just going to use a snippet to create a functional component detail. And now if we go here, we're not getting that error. Let's pass this feed stack navigator in place of our feed tab here. So we'll say feed stack, save that out. And now if we go into our login screen, we notice that we're getting an additional header here. Clicking on the detail screen, nothing is happening because here we've named this detail screen whereas it should be detail because that's the name we gave the screen. Click on login. Clicking on detail screen, we see we're taken to our detail screen. We're getting this additional header with this back arrow, but that's not what we want because we want this to be in place of this particular header on top here. So let's fix that. The first thing that we'll do is get rid of this tab navigator header that we have here. So in our dashboard tab navigator, where we're setting the header title to the root name, we'll say header and set that to null. So now we have no header here on the top. The only header that we have is the header of the feed stack. But if you go to the profile tab, we don't see that header anymore. Now we need that hamburger icon here in our header. So let's go ahead and add that now to our feed screen in our feed stack. So here where we have our screen, we will put a comma and say navigation options. Get the navigation prop. And here we'll return header left. And we've already created this icon before. So let's come down here and let's copy this icon from our dashboard stack navigator. And let's paste that in here. Once we save that, we notice that we're getting a hamburger icon here. And now if we go into the detail screen, we notice that we're getting the back arrow on the top like we want. We can also set up the header title here now by just passing it here to our navigation options. So we can say header title and set that to feed. Now we see we're getting a header title going to the detail screen. We get this back arrow which says feed to go back to the feed screen. Similarly, for the other tabs, we can set up stacks as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just duplicate this. And let's rename the first one to profile stack. The screen will become profile. The header title will also become profile. And it won't have any other second screen in it. Similarly, let's change the second stack to the settings stack. So I'm just going to rename feed and make that settings. And this will also not have any other screen in it. Let's replace profile and settings with profile stack and settings stack and save that out. Now when we're on our feed stack, we have the feed title. We have the hamburger icon. When we go to the profile stack, we have the profile title and still the hamburger icon. 
And similarly in the settings stack, we're still getting the header title and the icon on the left. Now we can easily add as many screens as we want in each stack. And this header will work just the way we want it to. One thing you guys might be wondering is, can we access the draw navigator from any screen? So when we go to the detail screen, we don't have that icon there, but if we try and drag in from the left, we do get the draw navigator. But if we drag here slightly away from the edge, we're taken back to the previous screen. This is a personal preference. And if you want, you can disable the gestures linked to the stack navigator so that every time you swipe in from the left, you only open the draw navigator. So let's see how that will look. Let's go to the feed stack. And here, let's add some default navigation options. These options will apply to all the screens of the stack. So we'll say default navigation options. And here we'll say gestures enabled and set that to false. Now if we save that out, let's log in, go to the details screen. And if we try and swipe in from the left, you see we can only and only open up our draw navigator and we cannot swipe back to the previous screen. So now from any screen in any of your stacks, you'll be able to access the draw navigator by swiping in from the left. So that covers the second case of combining all our navigators together. I'm sure using these two types of variations, you can create any type of application that you want. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you guys like this.